I think Obama, along with pretty much every other politician these days, simply exploits events for whatever purpose of ambition they have in mind. Because Christians would never exploit a tragedy to perpetuate the idea that they are continually victims of anti-Christian persecution. <laughs> I think it's one of the features of the corruption of our present way of doing politics, that we don't really focus uh, on things in a substantive way. And when we do, we follow a storyline that's basically fabricated without much regard to the facts that you were just suggesting. And when we do, we, we actually find that uh, Dylan Roth, you know, was known to be wearing a patch on his jacket that was from the uh, apartheid era South Africa and, uh, you know, found a lot of very racist things and, you know, quotes like this. I chose Charleston because it is the most historic city in my state and at one time had the highest ratio of blacks to whites in the country. We have no skinheads, no real KKK, no one doing anything but talking on the internet. Well, someone has to have the bravery to take it to the real world and I guess that has to be me. But you know, it's no substantive uh, information or any of that, you know, that that's all bullshit. It, it's 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 a conspiracy. It's it's a conspiracy against Christians. And I think that that's because again, it's all done for tendentious purposes. Oh yes, the tendentious purposes of making it appear as if black people are being targeted, and and they're not really the target. It's really Christians who are the target. It's really Christianity who's the target, and and Obama is just some Muslim trying to destroy this country by by destroying the fabric of this country because. Uh, in the case of the South Carolina shooting, the thing that has really struck me is that South Carolina, in terms of race, is full of targets of opportunity if you're a racist, right? Uh, there are lots of black folks in South Carolina, as there are in North Carolina, where my mother came from. <laughs> where my mother came from. <laughs> from. Um, so if somebody picks out as a specific target a church, why is it that one focuses only on the race and not on the Christianity? I don't know, maybe it has to do with the fact that Dylan Roth was a devout Christian baptized as a Lutheran. But I, I guess those pesky facts are just satanic. They're, they're from the devil. The, those pesky facts are from the devil. And it's just a, it's just a big conspiracy to let Obama uh, promote uh, Islam and... and, and some <laughs> Meanwhile, throughout the world, Christians are being persecuted and killed, and in this country, ridiculed and taken to task for fundamental beliefs that are now being called into question because people want to satisfy this or that sense of themselves and their sexual passions and so forth and so on. Christians are being actually persecuted in the countries that you have to pretend or actually be a Muslim. So don't feel like you're, you know, so special in that regard. And as far as people questioning Christianity in this country, well, it, it kind of has to do with people seeing the patterns of people like you. A lot of the Republicans that are out there. Just imagine what would happen to this country if gerrymandering wasn't allowed. But nobody bothers to suggest that the environment of deep hostility and persecution now being created throughout the world against Christians has something to do with that. Uh, and that's because many of our politicians here, including Obama himself, have helped to foment that environment of hostility. And so the last thing they want to do is call attention to it. They're always ready to play the race card. Yes, Uncle Tom. Ferguson and Baltimore had nothing to do with race. It's just about looting and and making it difficult for businesses because to claim anything else is just playing the race card. But these days, as I have known in my own career in America, I think that any animosity based on race 
pales in comparison to the animosity that I have encountered based on my Christian faith. Okay, so you, you believe that this whole episode, uh, the shooting, uh, was motivated more by, uh, more by the fact that it was a church and there were Christians in there uh, than by uh, the race of, of those people who were in there. Well, it's a question you have to ask. If it wasn't for those meddling facts and that dog or something like that. Because here you had an individual who could have focused on any number of targets that involve black folks in South Carolina. There's not exactly a dearth of black people in the state. So your argument is that he could have chosen better targets, therefore uh, the whole concept of what he did and what he said he did and why he said he did it is invalid. Uh, nor of symbols, of, of things that are associated with the black past and the black heritage. Uh, to single out the church, which is the institution that exemplifies the very faith that leads many black folks, for instance, to line up against the destruction of traditional marriage. So you're suggesting that Dylan Ross is gay? And that white supremacists support gay rights and the KKK support gay rights? Hardly. There are some of the most anti-gay groups out there, but... It, it, I, And you wonder why so many people can't take so many Republicans seriously. Which Obama and others are now pushing for, that will put them in a position of choosing between God and man, and many will resist, many will stand with God. I still can't figure out why so many people like you spout this idea that allowing for gay marriage will somehow invalidate straight marriages. It just doesn't make any sense. I think that an act which tends to intimidate them, make them feel afraid of standing forward in their faith. I think we ought to be scratching our heads and wondering whether there is an evil at work that's more directed at God and Christianity than it is in existence so that politicians can play games with race that divide our people. Yes, this great evil that makes politicians play with race and you point your head back and forth like this, it will make your message much better and you will be more righteous in your message. Get off your Bible crack.